Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Brian, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today I am doing a take on a painting that I've seen Molly with Molly's Artistry do. Uh, she makes some really cool blown out uh, flames uh, using black, orange, yellow, white, um, and like a, in, in Dutch pour fashion. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do kind of a straight pour um, and then kind of do a ribbon pour on top of it. Um, you'll see once I get started, but um, what I want to kind of do is just create a very large abstract. I'm working on a 24 by 30 gallery wrap canvas. So I just want to kind of make some uh, abstract, abstract looking uh, flame-like uh, presence on the canvas. So let's get down to the canvas and I'll talk about the colors. Be right back. Okay, so like I said, I've got a 24 by 30 gallery wrap canvas. This was a painting that I did one of the magic wands for, but just ended up with way too much gold and not enough contrast. So we're gonna paint over top of this bad boy. No sense in wasting canvases. Uh, colors I'm using today. I'm using Artist Loft in the Flow Acrylic Black. I'm using the Pyro Red. Permanent Red Violet. Azo Yellow Deep, Azo Orange, 24 Karat Gold, and I'm also using the Artist Loft in the Soft Body White. So my paints are mixed with um, Liquitex Gloss Medium and Paint and Floatrol. Oh yeah, and the last color I'm using is a paint that I had some extra paint left over from previous pour, it's just table scraps. And so I'm gonna use that. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna pour that color down here in the center. I'm gonna do a uh, straight pour using the reds and the black. And then I'm going to do kind of a ribbon pour with the flame colors. So let's get to layering this cup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna need 25 ounces of paint. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to layer in the black. Gonna layer in the red. Gonna layer in the violet. Just getting some depth in this. Some more black. More red. and the permanent red violet. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour here in the center some of that color. And now I'm just gonna do a straight pour right in the middle of this. I'm not too concerned with the uh, composition because I'm gonna be pouring over top of this so it's gonna get stretched out. So now I'm gonna pour more of this color around the edge. Torch. 
Now, the only thing I want to do now is just kind of move this around. I'm going to just push it. All right, now it's time to start layering the flames. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to put in some red. Yellow. Some orange. Some white, gold. Throw in some black. I'm just gonna come back in here and do that again. Gonna put a, just a little bit more of this gold color down here so it'll flow. Now I'm just gonna kind of ribbon pour straight. Give this another torch. Spread this out. One more torch. All right, let's see what we get.
loving. It's not negative space, but it's negative space in regards to the first pour, straight pour that went down. And I'm loving the effects of it. One thing I might try to do is open this side up just a little bit. That a little more symmetrical. All right, I'm gonna touch up my edges, torch, and then I'm gonna bring you guys in. Okay, here it is. I really am digging this. I love the uh, abstractness of it, the negative space that I got from the straight pour, and then pouring the uh, stripes on top really helps give it depth, I think. I love the color selection as well. So I'm glad I added in that uh, permanent red violet. Let me bring you in here. I think one of my favorite parts of this is all the cells that are in the middle of that white stripe. Just, that's so cool looking. All right, this is drying nicely. The colors are really popping on this, giving me some really great lava fire vibes in this. I'm loving the cells through the middle there, that streak, just really cool. Let me bring you in here. drying well all right that's gonna do it for today's video I am super excited about this piece it's still a little wet so I'm not gonna be able to hold it up very long but it's still wet in the middle but it is drying fantastic loving all these cells that's going through the middle the spider webbing the lacing there at the top in red it's just drying great no cracking, so no goobers are in the paint. So it's gonna get a good coat of probably gloss varnish. Overall, I am really loving this color combo. I'm gonna experiment with this kind of a technique uh, some more, doing a straight pour and then running some ribbon colors through it and stretching it out. You really get an abstract feel for it, but it's giving me lava feel, giving me fire feel. I'm very happy about this. So. All right, everyone, that's going to do it today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That'll let you know when I do post new video content. Everyone, have a great day. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.